this is usually square on males. The chin is square and sometimes even on females. But once again, we're talking about size. So we have these two bumps, one there and there. Most patients can feel that in themselves and say, oh yeah, there's like a knot there and one there. And we want to remove those, but we can't do this because once again, if you narrow this out here, it's going to make this look gigantic. The more it comes in, the bigger this looks. So I refine the chin. I can reduce a little bit of the vertical to take a little bit off the bottom and off of these two sides here to reduce the chin and or how far it sticks out. When it comes to implants in patients that are transgender who have a, a chin that's too small here, it's receded behind this vertical. Then you go, hmm, I've been doing this for so long, I know that early on we have a, a rule for that in general plastic surgery for males and females that a chin should come out on the profile to meet a perpendicular either from the lower lip, the upper lip, or that point right there. Well, transgender patients don't like that. They, they're not a believer in that rule that they would rather have a receded chin than a chin that comes out this way if it makes it look larger. So for some transgender patients that are very receded, I just put a central implant in. I don't use the normal implant which goes from there to there.